Hey, what's going on, Freedom Earth? Okay, so the, the, the most interesting thing about my online journey is the fact that like how I'm doing stuff just based off Wi-Fi and energy. And energy, like, like for instance, my, I just got a client, I just got a client, right, that paid me $333, and I have to show her a system, and I have to better myself to really put myself in a position where I can really help her, and I can, but, like, really, like, help her in a way I guess I'm not helping myself, and... It's a fascinating process because um, it's all about energy. It's not necessarily about um, it's not necessarily about like like oh I can't like this time with my phone being off um, and me just cultivating the discipline and the focus and the 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 hold on. Is I'm learning that my f concentration is actually to develop like concentration on a high level is actually um, a deeper level. And like when when what's his name said, um, Dan Pena said that to be successful, you have to have a higher level of commitment, and that's so true because that's what deep concentration is—a level of commitment that supersedes physical presence. Let me repeat that again. High concentration is the ability to 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 stay on task and to stay in focus and to stay in 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 focus despite all all outside appearances. And that's like the most challenging part of my life. And it's the most interesting where it's like I'm, I have to stay focused outside of all, all external, um, all external um, appearances. Um, and it's the most like fascinating thing that I'm experiencing because like it's the real test of my faith. Like in this room, when I turn my phone back on, I get a new phone. Um, um, I'm going to learn that that's the real faith, the ability to concentrate, like that's my real power that, um, I paid my cell phone bill over and over and my rent bill over and over and over again with no money, no evidence, no none of that. And the fact that I have to use my mental faculties, I have to use the internal to manifest an external reality is a interesting ideal and a interesting um power because i i can no, everything that i'm everything that that um is happening is due to an external is due to an internal um due to an internal um understanding and nothing else like it's not it's not an external the external comes after the internal and it's funny um i wish i could like make it up and be like oh i have somebody financing me like no everything that i do is based off a sale and um and and um yeah everything that's happening is because i manifested it Everything that's happening is because um, because I focused on what I wanted, because I did a ritual, but that's still my energy. Doing a magic is my energy. Um, 
like I'm and every like sometimes I'm like I think it's the second time I did a I did a road opener or a manifestation or a spell or whatever and it worked out um and like like it's cha it's it's making me change who I claim to be at a core level because it's like when I'm when I'm feeling you have to ask yourself is that the real you and a lot of the times it ain't it's the version of you that according to the eight the eighth principle of the Hermetic laws that's the part of you that you care about the most failing you care so much about failure that you hmm, wow hmm that's deep you care so much about failure that you allow it in your life I say When I say you care about it, here's what I mean. And I don't mean care with the with the with the cap with the lowercase C. I mean care with an uppercase C. Meaning it's something you give attention to, it's something that you cultivate, it's something that you plan, it's something that you visualize, it's something that you speak about. And as I think about that, that that's real. Like when you care about something, it's all you talk about. With a capital, with capital C A R A C A R E, it's some, it's all it's it consumes you, and you won't even know it. When you care about success, that's all you talk about. I think. I think lowercase care is about an emotional attachment more than anything else. You have to love it. With capital care, C-A-R-E, it's more about laws and principles more than it is. And I'm going to tell my partner that. It's more about Laws and emotions. No, it's, a, it's more about laws and principles than it is about emotion. Lowercase care is very emotional. It's like it's like your mom. She has to care for you because she's your mother. She's obligated to care about you. When 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 you get older, it's it's uppercase care. It's principles and morals. If she don't if she don't feel like you align with her principles and morals, whatever those may be. Um, all that lowercase care goes out the window. Um, it sounds weird, and a lot of people do it in a, in a fucked up way. But I've noticed that about my life. Like, you got to uppercase care. It got to be like laws and principles. Like, like it got to be a sta laws, principles, and, and standards. Um, that's when you get, like, uppercase care. Let me, sh let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, when you get lowercase care... And see, damn, this is camera flip. No, so hopefully you guys can see that. But, but when there's a lowercase care, this is emotional. This is about obligation. This is about like emotional uh, attachment. Um, uppercase care is about connections, connection. Uh, connection, laws, principles, and standards, and it's about nothing else. They will, and you will get left behind if you don't apply those, um, and if you don't have those. Care, lowercase care. It's you could be you could be miserable with somebody, and they'll take you along for the ride because they care about you. And even if you're toxic for their mission, uppercase care, they can't do that. 
because, um, because, because it can, it can, it can cost them what they care about. Like when you, when you're about laws, principles, standards, and laws, principles, standards, yeah, you have to be mindful of everything because because you know everything has a consequence to it. When you when it's about lowercase care, like all lowercase, it's not really about they don't you you don't really count the cost for real for real. Um you don't really count the price. And a lot of us, let's say we give another example, a lot of us don't ha create children out of capital out of capitalized capitalization care. Um, we, we, we mean it out of laws, principles, and standards. We, 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 we have an, an attachment and in, in uppercase cares about connection, lowercase cares about attachments. Um, a lot of us have children out of attachment, not out of, not out of actual connection. Because when we, when we have children, a lot of the times, we ain't we don't really want to form a connection with our children. It's just an attachment. So that means that in the simplest of senses, um, in the simplest of senses, we only care to the extent of our ego, like my parents did. Not to the extent that you have a genuine connection with this individual and it's about laws, principles, and standards, not about how 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 it strokes your ego or not. <clears throat> so, um, and when we actually started to get into standards of be, be I think my parents used to say it like uh, be. I think she sometimes sometimes to be something about being excellent, or like be excellent. To some extent, and when it was time to make excellent decisions, that that the emotion of, uh, the emotion of the emotions that the attachment came in. So what I mean by the attachment came in, like it it, it came with, uh, the attachment came in meaning like the attachment to their ego. So at, when it started to supersede their ego, they cut it. They they made me try to, they made me try to pay out of reaction, not proactiveness. Capital, capital, C A R E, um, is very proactive, and that's what I'm learning, um, and that's how you have to care about your your dream. You have to be proactive more than almost ninety percent and ten percent reactive, because if you if you, even I'm learning in my life, the more I be, the more I am reactive to my life instead of proactive, the more I lose. Um, too much reaction causes deep loss, t talk, takes, too, takes too much loss because you'll win and take five steps back. And I think that's what creates setbacks. You're becoming reactive. Um, yeah. So book the session in the description below and um, it's bit.ly slash uh, full chart 197 and text 910-808-9330, 910-808-9330 if you, if you purchased um, your reading below. Peace.